Hello, grace and peace be multiplied to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My name is Flourish Peters. I'm the lead pastor of the Logic Church, the love of God and Christ Church. What you're about to hear will change your life forever because it is the word of His grace. I commend you to God and the word of His grace that is able to build you and give you an inheritance among the saints. Acts 20 verse 32. This will bless you. Listen, invite your friends to join in. I'll see you in a bit. We continue with our series this morning, The Blessing. Genesis chapter 26. If you have your Bibles, can you stand as we read God's word? Oh my God, time. Genesis chapter 26. Genesis chapter 26. If you can't find Genesis, run to Jesus. Let's, let's start with you. It's actually the first book in the Bible. It's not the oldest book in the Bible. It's just the first book in the Bible. Genesis was written by Moses. Moses was born in Exodus chapter 2. So Genesis cannot be the oldest book in the Bible. But it's just there because it shows you the chronological arrangement of creation. If you look at Genesis properly, the book of the Bible becomes revelation to revelation. Because Genesis was written out of revelation. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Well, let's go into Gospel Genesis 26, 19 to 22. And Isaac, servants, digged the valley and found there a well of springing water. Next verse. And the headsmen, not be today, of Gerah did strife with Isaac. Headsmen. Saying, the water is ours. And they called the name of the well Essek. Because they strove with him. Next verse. And they digged another well and strove for that also. And he called the name of it, what? Sit now. And he removed from thence and digged another well. And for that they strove not, and he called the name of the place where? Rehoboth. And he said, for now. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on now. Come on, come on. So wake, wake that your sleeping neighbor on your roll and say, for now. For now. The, Lord the Lord have made room, have made room for, us, for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. What a, for now. Say it one more time. The Lord has made room for us and we shall be fruitful in the land. Last week I spoke to you about the blessing. You carried the blessing. Today I want to show you that you are blessed to be a blessing. Now if you are in this church and your business is just to get all you can, can all you can, sit on the can and holler at anybody who tried to can you and you become canayo, canayo, this is not your service. If you are in this service and your priority is to do something that will be beyond your lifetime, that is transgenerational, not just being blessed, but being a blessing, this is your service. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of believers who are always focused on prosperity and not posterity. That is the problem with our politicians too. When they get there, it's all they can get now. They don't think of posterity. I want you to fix your mind this morning because God wants me to tell you this morning you are blessed. Not just for yourself, you are blessed to be a blessing. Are you listening to me? Say, I'm blessed to be a blessing. I'm not just blessed. I'm, you are rich. Who have you reached? Life is not in the duration. It's in the donation. You, yeah, I'm rich, I'm rich. I get it. Who have you reached? Who have you reached? When you get out of here, who would, who, what, what impact will outlive you? That's what we want to talk about this morning. And the blessing of God is not just for you to profit yourself. Eat, go to the toilet, die, and that's all. No, it's for transgeneration. I smell that there are people who are working on projects, companies, that four generations when you are gone, you still have your children kissing your pictures. Your great grandson, mm -hmm, dad, granddad was really good. Mm -hmm. He did very well because your, your legacy will outlive you to your fourth generation. You see what I'm saying? They are not shouting well because I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to your neighbor. So you can sit there like a pillar of salt and look at me like the first lady of the state of emergency but i came to speak to people who have dreams that is bigger than you i want logic to outlive me 
not doing this for me. Something that will leave a life. That when I'm sleeping in my grave and watching from the battle streets of heaven, I'm seeing people continuing in the gospel that we labored for, in the gospel that we built. Wouldn't it be nice to see your great grandchildren from the battle streets of heaven continuing with the company like Matokbeda, like the King's Company, like Jacqueline, and see your product leave from one generation to another generation? Wouldn't that be nice? What is wrong with us in Africa and in Nigeria where there is no third generation our wealth? Everything dies with the man who came with the wealth. There's something wrong with us. It has to change. Inheritance is not what you leave for your children. It's what you leave in your children. Jacob and Esau were not struggling over lands and houses. They were struggling over the blessing. Because it outli- you see what I'm saying, Olayemi? They didn't struggle over that you didn't give me the head of fish. No, 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 no. They were struggling over what? The blessing. Look for four people on your roll and preach to them. I am blessed to be a blessing. Make it five now. Father, thank you for your word. In Jesus' name, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Zero. I say this to you every Sunday morning, that the purpose of theology is for Christology, and the purpose of Christology is for soteriology. All the logi, logi, logi that you just heard is simple. I read my Bible, that is theology, to know Christology. Because the Bible has a bias. Jesus is the bias of the scriptures. If you remove Jesus from the Bible, it's a compilation of useless poems and historical event. Jesus is what makes the Bible special. So the Bible is a book. The word of God is a person. Your Bible can fall to the ground, but the word of God cannot fall to the ground. So the Bible is a book, but the word of God is a person. Jesus is the person of the word of God. John chapter 1, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was with him in the beginning. All things were made by him, and without him was anything made. That's John chapter 5. Ye search the scriptures, for in them ye think you have eternal life but they are they which testify of me so the entirety and the totality of the bible is pointing to something is pointing to a man and his name is christ because jesus is the word of god first john chapter 5 verse 7 there are three that bears witness in heaven the father the word and the Holy Ghost. It did not say the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. It said the Father, the Word. Because the Word of God is Jesus' native name. is the real name of God. Revelation says, and he had the name that no man knew. And that name is called what? The Word of God. So you cannot know God outside of Christ. You cannot know God outside of Christ. Because Christ is the absolute total and precise revelation of God. Jesus is not the younger version of God. Jesus is not iPhone 14 and God is iPhone 14 Pro Max. Jesus is the very God of very God. Jesus is what makes God God. K-N-O-W Jesus. K-N-O-W God. N-O Jesus. N-O Fly away Jesus. Fly away, God. come back, Jesus. So the only way to know God is to look at Jesus. When you see Jesus, you see the very express, absolute image of God. So if you want to know God, you must find Jesus' role in the pages of the scripture. This is what brings birth to Soteria. So I read the theology to get revelation of Christology and this brings me to what? Soteriology. Because Jesus is the absolute precise definition of the person called God. When we say son of God, I've taught you this before, son of God is a term in the Bible that means God in the flesh. The son is the father in the flesh. It's not me and my son is not you and your son is the father came in the flesh that means god came from the matrix of a woman he used the virgin womb as his changing room 
born by the zeal of God to die for men. And the Bible says he reduced himself into the womb of the woman. It's called the many folds of God. Oh my God, the many folds of God. That means God squeezed himself down. Come, come, come. Help me, help me. Bring this thing. The many folds of God. Thank you. Bring it. The many folds. That means if this is God, God brought himself like this and reduced more. And reduced more. And reduced more. And reduced more. Until he fit into the womb of the woman. And the truth, the thing about God is any portion of God that you have gives you the fullness of God. What is remaining of him is still the fullness of God. Because he is indivisible, insubtractable. You see what I mean? So when he came out, he was the God who came out as God with a name called Jesus. So God said to God, wait, I have to redeem man. No man is good enough to redeem them. So I will come out of you and I will enter a human being because you cannot redeem who you are not related to. So he is God in creation. He is son in redemption. He is spirit in regeneration. Oh, that's good stuff. He is God in creation. When he wanted to redeem, he became son in, because God can only redeem things that is related to. Let me show you something. When the angel was toasting Mary, Mary, thou art highly favored. Mary was wondering. To get Mary's faith to open up, the angel said to Mary, your cousin Elizabeth, Stay with me now. Who was barren is now with the child. Because Mary can relate with Elizabeth. So when God blesses your neighbor, he's in your neighborhood. Oh God. Oh, oh God. When God, he's in, God is just trying to show you that you are next for the catch. You are next for the blessing. So he became son in redemption, but became spirit in regeneration. What is God the Father? God the Son. God the Spirit. It's H2O. It is eyes. It is liquid. It is vapor. It's still H2O. Solid ice. Liquid. Water. Vapor. Still H. Gas. Thank you. Still H2O. And the Holy Ghost is gas. Oh, you get what I'm saying? So you can't stop him. He's in every... Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh. The Holy Ghost is gas. Jesus is water, but the Holy Ghost is gas. That means you can't trap him for anyone who's born of the Spirit. It's like gas. 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 So when you hear all those monitoring spirit, no, you can't monitor me because the person inside of me cannot be trapped. Cannot be kept. Why? You can't hold me down because I'm born of the Spirit. Because he is, the Son is the Father in the flesh. The Spirit is the Father in the believer. So what I have in me is the Spirit of God. I carry the very God of very God. So it's not just our Father who's in heaven. It's our Father who lives inside of me. Did I show you the last time that Jesus won home and abroad? Even in the Quran that you have 144 chapters, 6,666 words. The name of Muhammad was mentioned four times. The name of Jesus was mentioned 25 times. He won home and abroad. How good they get to God? Why believe does Home, even in the, they called him prophet, but they spoke about the prophet more than their prophet. <laughs> Why? He's the loftiest idea in literature. He's the fundamental doctrine of true theology. He's the zenith of civilization. He's the wisdom of the wise and the power of the powerful. No matter who holds musical celebrity, in the name of Jesus remains the sweetest melody. Yeah. I don't care who Forb claims to be the richest in the globe. My Jesus has more riches with one ruby on his robe. Jesus. Jesus. He's the question and the answer. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. I don't care who trends on social media. Jesus has more followers without the handle. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, oh God. Oh. Oof. Oof. That's good stuff, man. Oof. Oh. Jesus! The name above all name, everybody shout Jesus! Jesus! He's the very God of very God. His name is Jesus. Are you with me this Sunday morning? Are you with me? So he is Jesus. And the thing about salvation is salvation is not God with man. Salvation is not God and man. Salvation is God in man. 
and man in God is an in something. I am in Christ and he's in me. Jesus did not come to make bad people good. Jesus came to make dead people live. You were not bad and he made you good. You were dead and he made you alive. This is not behavior modification. This is inner transformation. You listening to me? Hey. Religion is behavior modification. Rules and regulation, dress code, don't do this, don't do that. The real Christianity faith is inner transformation. I get messages all the day, people I'm changing. One lady said to me, by now I would have smashed the TV, his range over his car, I'm crazy like that. But at this time, he's been misbehaving. I just don't find the strength to behave like that. Then she said to me, Piflo, what are you doing to me? <laughs> I said, why? She said, because I'm angry because I can't react. By now, this house will be on fire. But I've been coming to church just here. You preach about this Jesus. And right now, I'm looking for my temper, but I can't find my temper. Hey! Behavior modification is not what it is. It's inner transformation. For he's the one walking in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. That's the message of the gospel. Jesus did not come to bring you to what Adam lost. Jesus came to bring you to what Adam missed. Ah, Not what Adam lost, but what Adam missed. Because every time God restores, he doesn't restore you to the what you left. He restores you to what you were aiming at. Oh, I love this God. When he restored Naaman, Naaman was a leprous man. He didn't restore Naaman's, Naaman's skin back to a young man's skin. He took Naaman back to a baby skin. Because every time God restores, he doesn't restore you to what you missed. He restored you to what you were aiming at. That's the restoration of God. We preached about Joseph last week. Joseph's restoration would be, I just want to go back home. He was the choice son of his father. He had the coat of many colors. He had it going on together. But they stoned him, took him out of the house. Do you, can you imagine Joseph's prayer? I just want to go back home. I want to go. I want to go. That's all Joseph wanted to do. But God was not looking at home when they took him from the house. Oof. Every time you take something from a believer, you've given the, the God another opportunity to upgrade his life. Everything they took from me, I look back, it was an opportunity for God to upgrade my life. Every relationship they took from are you listening to me what I'm saying? Every relationship they took from me, it was just an opportunity for God to upgrade my life. Because when God restores, he's not going to bring you to what you missed. He brings you to what you were aiming at. That's how he restores. So Joseph never went back home, but Joseph brought his brothers to the palace. Restoration is when you get to the point where you cannot be bitter because you want to be better. <laughs> coming to you. <laughs> I'm coming to you this morning. I came, I wore suit this morning. I was ready for you. Never one suit. Can't remember the last time I wore suit. I said, I'm wedding or doing a funeral service. I don't do suits, man. I wore this one. I'm like, I'm ready for them. <laughs> they will take today. But the thing about Christology from theology it gives birth to what? Soteriology. Now that salvation plan has the blessing in it. Oh. So in the salvation plan is blessing. This is why it is an insult to the finished work of Christ to say the believer needs deliverance or the believer is cursed. You don't know what you are saying. It's because the believer doesn't know that he's a believer. The most dangerous man in the world is not Putin. He's a believer that knows he's a believer. Because now the blessing is on you. I wish that all men be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. So you can be born again, but you don't have truth. My people are destroyed. Not for lack of prayer, for lack of knowledge, not lack of deliverance, not lack of, not, not strangers, not unbelievers, my people. That means you can be a people of God in the family of God and you are still being destroyed. Why? For lack of knowledge. So what is the need of the believer? Knowledge knowledge check Pauline prayers that I may know that I may know 
that I may know. I was preaching in Abuja on Friday and I said to them, nothing describes the culture of a people than the music that they sing. Yeah. Oh yeah, music producers you're here. Where's Timmy Dakolo? Where is the winner? Kingdom, you're in church today. Praise God. Hallelujah. You're changing now. I was watching you go left, but I just kept praying for you. Because the seed of God in you cannot die. Nothing describes the culture of a people than the song that they sing. When Yahoo started raining in Nigeria, we sang about it. When that careless, useless living started last year, we sang about it. Ah, I think that's enough. I break my business. Just open your mouth and your, it describes the culture. Nothing describes the culture than the song that they sing. Nothing describes the revelation of a people than their prayer point. Ah. So if you want to, I'm telling, if you want to know where this person's revelation is, tell them to pray. Yeah. Say, let us pray. Form the everlasting father, king of glory. Base, you don't enter. From that first thing, everlasting father, king of glory. My lord, everlasting father, king of glory. My Lord, everlasting fire. As he starts like the next thing, we now pray. We know we are sinners. You are already hearing that there's something wrong with this person. You know we are all sinners. We are not all sinners. Speak for yourself. We've been made clean by the blood of Jesus. We were sinners, but we've been saved by God's grace. It's not a sign of humility. It's a sign of ignorance. You are refusing the finished work on the cross of Calvary. That's actually arrogance. So I'm, you know me, I'm just being honest. I'm, you know, I'm not proud. I'm not, you know, nobody clean, nobody, you know, we're all sinners. We're not, don't bring me in that WhatsApp group. I left. You are the admin. Leave, stay there. <laughs> Nothing defines the revelation of the people than your prayer. Hear them pray. Just tell them to pray. My father's side, my mother's side, my auntie's side. Where are you waiting for? Die. Die. I'm not in my father's side. I'm not on my mother. I'm on the Lord's side. Come on. When he died, I died with him. When he was buried, I was buried with him. When he resurrected, I resurrected with him. Now I'm seated in Christ in heavenly places, far above principalities and power. And if any man be in Christ, he is new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things are new. There is death for now. No condemnation to them who are in Christ. Shout glory! Stop. Stop dragging me into those WhatsApp group. I checked out with Jesus. When he resurrected that morning, I resurrected with him. Because salvation is not behavior modification, it's inner transformation. God did not save us from what Adam was, but what he missed. Genesis 1.26. Let me show you something. Glory to God. Let's do this this morning. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over all the creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth next verse so god created man in his own image and in the image of god created he him male and female created he what Amen. you see this genesis 2 verse 7 and god formed man Not created. So who is this man in Genesis chapter 2 verse 7? Because this is Adam. This is where Adam was formed. So who is that guy in Genesis chapter 1? He created a guy in Genesis chapter 1. Then formed Adam in Genesis chapter 2. Then I'm telling you he didn't restore us to what Adam lost. Or what Adam missed. This was the intention of God. Genesis chapter 1. To make man like Christ. Because Christ is the image of God. Not Adam. For the first Adam was a living soul. The second Adam was a. The last Adam was a, a quickening spirit. Life giving spirit. So God brought Adam. Formed him. And put him in the garden. Then showed him two trees. The tree of life. Which is Christ. And the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Which is conscience. And told Adam choose. And Adam deliberately chose the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And rejected Christ. That is the scene of Adam, the rejection of Christ. If Adam has chosen the tree of life, he would have brought him to Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. 
the intention of God created. So all of us came like Adam formed from my mother's womb. But at some point, we received the tree of life. A kodash. And that, if any man be in Christ, he is a new, not formation, creation. Adam was formed. Oh God, Jesus, I gave my tab as an offering. God. <laughs> Adam was formed, but Jesus was the new man in Christ created. So God didn't bring us to what we lost in Adam. He brought us to what Adam missed. That's the man that is blessed. And once you have salvation, it comes with all the blessings of God. No curse can work upon your life. The reason you think you are cursed is a pastor that cursed it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One of the things they told you is that materialism is a sign of blessing. That's the problem. You don't judge whether you are blessed by the car you drive. You judge blessing by you in Christ. That's the real blessing. So I can be trekking to church doesn't mean I'm not blessed. Somebody can be driving the Range Rover with there's nothing bad with that, but the person is not blessed like you. Because the blessing is not anything material. The blessing is spiritual. Yes, what we have in Christ Jesus. No, your neighbor say I'm blessed. Yes. One more time say I'm blessed. I'm blessed. And if you don't have this consciousness of the blessing when you are trekking, car won't give it to you. Yeah. Car won't give it to you. If you don't have this consciousness when you are single, the man won't give it to you. The woman won't give it to you. Because you'll be looking for something that no man can give to you that only God in Christ can give to you. Can you say, I'm blessed? blessed. It's the knowledge. I am blessed. So you, let me tell you, if you want to jackpot, you can jackpot. But don't jackpot without the consciousness of the blessing. Because you can be in a blessed ground with a cursed mind and still toiling. But you can be in a ground that is not blessed, but blessed consciousness, because above will always influence beneath. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, and you, if you don't know this, now, before the elections, after the elections, you won't know it. So you must hold it. Whether or not I win, I am still blessed. That's a revelation you must have, free of charge. I am blessed. And this blessing is salvation. So if you are not saved, you are not blessed. Yes, sir. If you are not saved, you are not blessed. What makes you blessed is salvation. I opened my heart to Christ Jesus and I've been saved by the precious blood of the Lamb. Are you with me this morning? Look at your neighbor say, I'm blessed. Oh, say one more time. Say, I'm really, really blessed. Let me show, First Samuel chapter 16, verse 18. Let me show you something. Let me show you how you can tell... Then answered one of the servants and said, Behold, I have seen the son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, that is corny in plain, mighty, valiant man, a man of war, and prudent in matters, a comely person, a fine boy, and the Lord! That's the most important factor. And the Lord. <laughs> oh God. And the Lord. So you must know that, okay, you know what? No matter what I have, what you cannot lose is the Lord is with him. There are people around you that you should have known by now. Whether you're going to get into a relationship, partnership, beyond all the trappings, ask. Find out it is the Lord. That factor is everything. Because you can be on the floor and the Lord is with you. But you won't stay there for too long. Rejoice not over me, all my enemies, when I fall. For I shall rise again. When I sit in darkness, the Lord, he show me, he show me, the Lord shall be my light. Why? The Lord is with me. Young man, listen to me. Nigerian right now, this Buhari's Nigeria is challenging. You must move every day with the consciousness of the blessing. There were days, I say this all the time, I'm not ashamed, where the brocade, my, my business had gone down and reached, you know, is it bottom pot or rock dive? I was under. I was down and out. But guess what? I didn't lose the consciousness of the blessing. I would go with my... I was black trouser. I was white shirt. I used to be black suit. And I would enter a place with that kind of attire, but with a strong cabode. Smelling like fire. Entering the place. And they say, look at him, he's proud. Because they lack the lexicon to say anointing. Because this blessing gives you... 
uh, 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 that. Because this David had brothers who were big. Manchester United you know, spread like second wave. But they couldn't defeat Goliath. Because it's not in the stature, it's in the value. Yes. Right. It's what is inside of you. So David came and took Goliath down in their very before before. They looked it so much that even when the prophet saw Eliab, he said, surely this is the Lord's anointed. That means Eliab's look deceived the primary prophet of that time. Until he wanted to pour anointing, anointing refused to flow. Because anointing has your name on it. No matter how big their nose is, they can't breathe your oxygen. The anointing refused to flow. If not for the anointing, Eliab would have been anointed. Until he tried everybody and said, no, uh-uh. Is there not a member of this family? See, there's one like that. In the bush, oh. I don't know that you, they smell like sheep. Prophecy we will not sit. We will not eat. We will not drink. There are some families, the reason why you are still standing is they are waiting for you to come. They are waiting for your emergence. We will not sit. We will not drink. We will not eat until he comes. I, I prophesy your emergence is coming. It's coming. It, some things are still standing because you have to show up. But what did David have going on for him? The Lord is with him. So he spoke to the king. He said, ah, I was taking care of my father's ships now. One lion came, I, I attack him. I rush him. A bear came, I give him. This guy, see, he's too big. You're right. I can't miss him. Anywhere I throw this stone, he must hit your head. Why? The Lord. There must be something in your antecedents that shows to everybody that the Lord is with him. That this guy, the harder he falls, the, the higher he bounds. This guy, the more you attack him, Concerning the children of Israel, the Bible says the more they persecuted them, the more they grew. Yes. Are, you, are you saying that? Because you cannot, persecution doesn't stop the blessing. The blessing is still, Genesis 39, let me show you something. Tell your neighbor, the Lord is with me. And the Lord is in me. Say, Roman, the Lord is with me. And the Lord is in me. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt and Potiphar. An officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, brought him off the hands of the Ishmaelites, which had brought him down. Theater. Next verse. Watch this. Can we read this together? One, two, three, go. How can a slave man? So prosperity is not what you have. Prosperity is who you are. Thou art weighed in the balances and you are found wanting. What you do and what you have do not weigh as who you are. What you do and what you have do not weigh as who you are. It says what? It said the Lord. First, and the Lord was with Joseph. That means he went down. The Lord went down with him. Thank God that the Holy Ghost is not an elite ghost. It's not Banana Island ghost. It's not VGC ghost. So if you stay in Badore, he's with you. If you stay in Aja, face may I slap you, he's with you. If you stay on the island, he's with you too. Because he's the Holy Ghost. Aren't you excited? He says he was a prospering man and he was in the house of this master, master Egyptian. Next verse. And the master saw that the Lord, whoa, 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 whoa. The master saw that the Lord was with him. A slave. House boy. But some of you, you think the only time they'll see that Lord is with you is they, they don't know. They know they, they, they look me less, less now. When I don't arrive, they will now know. No, from now they will know that the Lord is with you. Like a sales girl, they know that every time you show up, something happens. They will know that the Lord is with you. Every time I held the mic from where I came from, they knew that they, ah! What? They could beef me, but they couldn't beef the result. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Every time I held the mic, they knew the order. Who's this guy? Because you come with the very kabod of God. The, how do you think I married my wife? I came with kabod. They were better people, seemingly. 
but they're not rich. You must have the cabode of God within you. Tell your neighbor, I carry God. Say it well, say, I carry God. One more time, say, I carry God. One more time, boldly say, I carry God. When you see Isaiah 51, 1 and 2, the Bible says, I called Abraham alone and I blessed him. Hacking unto me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord, look unto the rock whence you were hewn, and look to the hole and the pit whence you were digged. Next verse, look to Abraham your father and to Sarah who? That bear you. For I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. God called Abraham, blessed him without any deliverance service. He came from idolatry family. All of the Chaldeans, they were proper juju worshippers. But God called him without any deliverance service. Because the call is stronger than the curse. And when God calls you, everything that wants to go with you, come and meet me and God. Without any deliverance service, the call of God. Look at it, Abraham. And blessed him. Tell him, I, I, I am blessed of the Lord. Say it again, I'm blessed. So what is this blessings of God? What is this blessing that we've been talking about? Give me Galatians chapter 3, verse, verse 13. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, curse is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Watch this. That the blessing of Abraham might come upon who? The Gentiles. Through faith, that we might receive what? That's the blessing. What's the blessing? The problem is the Holy Ghost. The gas. The person of Jesus with you. All your sins are forgiven. Accepted in the beloved. Washed. You don't have to chosen. Called. You don't have to perform to belong because you're already accepted in the beloved. That's the blessing. Adopted. That's the blessing. Forgiven eternally. That's the blessing. It's that like you have what they don't have. I was telling first service. I, I was in a church one time in Akure. I think four governors entered and I think T.Y. Danjuma and some people. The pastor changed his message. I, I was so ashamed. I, I was... That's the... Uh, okay, okay, okay. Today... So, I'm like, just preach gospel. Because what you say, if what you say to Mark Zuckerberg is different from what you said to your gate man, one of them did not hear the gospel, or both of them did not hear the gospel. Because the gospel is one size fits all. It makes the poor man feel like I am rich in Christ, and make the rich man feel like I am poor without Christ. Christ now becomes our leveling ground. Immediately, choir projects came out, land project came out, many projects for me, barrier service. It be teens, man. Tell anybody, I carry this blessing. And the blessing is Christ. Give me this in the message translation, you will love it. Christ redeemed us from that self defeating cause by absorbing it completely to Him. That means he took the curse and took it completely in. Do you remember the scripture that says, Cursed is everyone who hangs on the tree? That is what happened when Jesus was nailed to the cross. He became a curse at the same time, dissolved the curse. How about this guy? He became the curse and what he. Watch, next verse 14. And now, because of that, the air is cleared. That means I can take off now. That means I can be everything God has called me to be. That means I can prosper now. That means I can come into it. Why? The air is clear. And we can see that Abraham's blessing is present. Oh, watch this. Watch this. Not Abraham's blessings. Abraham's blessing. Because the child that God promised Abraham is not Isaac. It's Jesus. I will show you. I will give you a son. That's not Isaac. It's Jesus. <laughs> it says Abraham's blessings is present and available for Nigerians, non-Jews. We are all able to receive God's life. That's Abraham's blessings. His spirit in and with us. By what? Believing. Just the way Abraham. How did Abraham receive it? How do you receive the blessing? Amen. There's no dangerous seed to trigger the blessing. If you don't tie it, your life will be tight. If you are suffering, check your offering. If you are sick, check your seed. 
fraud. The blessing comes by what? Believing. You believe and you are blessed. So why do we give? We give to support the work of the ministry. We give to get this message out. The New Testament has no percentage. The New Testament has generosity. It's the percentage of the hilarious generosity. Like I just give as I'm led. Why? I want to sponsor the work of the ministry. We give joyfully. Not to get anything from God. Because he has given us all things that pertains to life and godliness. You can buy salvation. You can buy forgiveness of sins. Do you know what it means for all your sins to be forgiven? Past, present and future. Can you pay for that? All of us in this room, let them just put on this screen what we did in the last two days. Jack Burr. From the altar to the pew, to the co- everybody. But you come to God and he sees you sinless because of what Jesus has done. And you don't think that is a blessing? And no cost can work on your life because every cost comes on the foundation of sin. So when God forgives your sin, no cost. Ooh, Sha. Kobanandis. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Every cost comes on the foundation of sin. I need to say that again. The reason that the cost works is because somebody sinned. So when God forgives you, the cost is deactivated. I'm going to say that again because when you prayed in tongues, what you said in tongues is, please say that again. I heard it in the spirit. That's what you said. So you're the one making me say this again. Every cost comes on the foundation of sin. So once sins forgiven, no cost is valid. Cost, costless cannot stand. I'm going to say that again. Every, you hear what I'm saying? Every cost comes on the foundation of sin. Somebody sinned. Somebody did something. Now, because all your sins have been aggressively forgiven, no cost can stand against you. If you are experiencing that, it's because the devil knows that you do not know because the strength of the enemy is in the weight of your ignorance. Tell your neighbor, I'm not cost. I'm blessed. You just use Buhari's country to tell yourself that you are cost. It's not cost. It's, it's Buhari. It's the naira and the dollar. It's happening to everybody. Who, 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 who sounds like he costs more than Joseph? Uh-uh, come now. He wore a coat of many colors, loved by his father. They stripped him from his coat, threw him into the pit. At that point, he would have felt, this is not, you know, you say my family people. This is not that they organize kidnappers to kidnap him. Are you? Nick, are you seeing this? They didn't hire, they didn't even have the decency. They didn't have the decency to say, let's hire some boys to do it. They went to do it themselves. He saw them. They didn't mask. From the same house, they sold him. One. Then as they sold him, they sent him to Potiphar's house. So he took brace up and said, you know what? Okay, let's move. We move, right? He started working. The Bible says the Lord was with him. Then Potiphar's wife saga came. And then they threw him from Potiphar's wife back to what? At that point, you say, I said it. They are following me. Public service announcement. Nothing is wrong with you. Hmm? That, that's somebody's word, yes. Public service the person you plan to go for the deliverance meeting this week. Going to deliverance houses up and down is a neat, clean lady using public toilets. You will collect one infection that you did not have before. That is where you are seeing the demons. Because what you focus on is what gives you direction. What affects your dream is your, is your dominant thought. So if you have this dominant thought of, I am free, end of discussion. But when you keep going to prison, your father's side, that girl went yellow. Now, Banji, the one in black now winch. Your dream will go in that direction. Spirit is mami water. There is, even in Igbo Bible, there's no word called mami water. In, in Igbo Bible, it's not there, mami water. In Yoruba Bible, it's not there. Where did it come from? African magic. Sit down, son. So your situation doesn't mean you are not blessed. 
is God sees the end from the beginning. So whilst you and I are watching a live match, God is seeing a replayed match. So you, me and my mom used to watch wrestling as children. So there are some WrestleMania matches that I would have watched. She used to be an Hogan fan. I will now put it for her. VHS. You remember those days? Mom, she would be... And I would just be chilled. <laughs> because I know who win. Breaking news, you already won. Not you, I'm talking to your neighbor. You can sit there like a pillar of salt. Like the first thing. I said you already won. I said you already won. If this is your word, shout amen, somebody. Sit, sit, sit. We're just talking. Ready one. Already won. So you go with the revelation that you know what? I already won. I, now, who oh God? How did Abraham receive the blessing? Nenka, Abraham received the blessing by the gospel. Because the gospel is God's reproductive system. It is with the gospel that God gives anything he gives to man. So Abraham received you. Some of you are wondering about the gospel that time. There was no Jesus. God preached the gospel to Abraham. So if Genesis, even Genesis chapter 5, let me show you something in Genesis chapter 5. Give me my first, my first slide. So when you even read the genealogies in Genesis chapter 5, have you ever read your Bible to genealogy and this begat this and this begat that and that begat that? You're like, okay. I read the next page, I beg. It's next chapter. In Genesis chapter 5, you see Adam. Begat Seth. I'm going somewhere with this. Seth begat Enosh. Enosh begat Kenan. Kenan begat Mahalalel. Mahalalel Jared. Enosh, Methuselah, Lamech, and Noah. If you see this by just your spectacles, you would have missed it. If you see it with Christology, you see it properly. Give me the second slide. Adam means man. Seth means appointed. Enosh means mortal. Kenan means sorrow. Mahalalel means the blessed God. Jared means shall come down. Enosh means teaching. What is this teaching? His death shall bring. Powerful rest. So man was appointed for mortal sorrow, but the blessed God shall come down. Has come down. Now that he has come down, what is our job? Teaching. What he came to do. What did he come to do? That his death shall bring what? Powerful rest. So for God to do anything, he has to come through the instrumentality of teaching. That's why we have church. He gave them apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers for the equipping of, for the work of the ministry. So when you come, you should hear the teaching of his death. Not acquire to perspire to recover the container. Not motivational speech. His death. His burial. And his resurrection. Not mysteries and portals and, you know, dominions. And I was in the heavens. I saw this. What are you saying? Or the doctrine of devils. What do we listen to? His teaching shall bring what? Powerful rest. What is that teaching? His death shall bring what his death did, what his burial did, and what the resurrection did. So for God to do this to Abraham, God had to teach Abraham. How did God teach Abraham, Pastor Flourish? I'm glad you asked. Galatians chapter 3. And therefore, he that ministered to you, the spirit, and worketh miracles among you, do it he eat. By the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Watch the next verse. How did God teach this gospel to Abraham? Even as Abraham what? Oh, oh, second service, that's too low. Abraham what? And it was, that's, that's an accounting word. It was credited. That means Abraham was talking to God like this. And God's logizo mind, that's the word. That's what logizo mind. It was credited. Logizo mind, that's the word accounted. Is he, so Abraham was talking to God like this. As the young, God said, Abraham, look at the stars. Abraham looked. Look at the sun. That's how your children will be. And Abraham said, I believe. Just that belief, Bangam account balance changed. Hey, it was accounted that his belief translated to righteousness. For God so loved the world that whosoever will not but have we have the account balance. Your belief is stronger than your behavior. That's the, your belief will fix your behavior. Your behavior can change your belief in Christ Jesus. 
Next verse. Know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same, I'm preaching good. Yeah. Preaching good. You see, when I preach, eh, I'm not trying to please anybody. I'm preaching this pure and diluted gospel. This is not the, this is not the money-making gospel. Every time I preach, I get the tap whilst I'm preaching. Well done, son. Once I get that tap, whether you shout, you don't shout. Get that. Whether you do your faith like you, or you, it's not important to me. Once God gives me that son, that tap behind me, sometimes it's, a, sometimes it's a wind. I felt it when I said I'm preaching good. Because my school master is him, not you, not your clap. No. He now says, Know ye therefore that they, glory to God, that which are of, of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. Keep this scripture because there is another erroneous belief in church that you must go to Israel to be blessed. That's where the blessing is. Every year they must go to Israel, they will not take the water from Jordan and then bring it back here and use it to. Her. The Jesus that lives inside of me is not the one that walked in Israel, it's the resurrected Christ. They're not the same. See, but you know, Israel, they are special people. They are poor people in Israel. Israel still has beggars. What happened to their bloodline? Yes, now. They are beggars in Israel. So what happened to those people? Are they evil beggars or Yoruba beggars? Or Ijo beggars? They are beggars in Israel. But people go there and say, you know, when you, when you stay there, that's where we have come to Mount Zion, the heavenly Jerusalem, not the one in Israel. Yes, sir. Yes. It now says, for they that are of faith are what? Abraham's children. I don't have to be Jew to be Abraham's child. I just have to be in Christ and I'm the child. Next verse, verse 3, verse 8. Hey, and the scripture, they, foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the gospel preach the word before there is before time that means before the gospel time came preach the gospel it, oh you're just saying it anyway preach the gospel to abraham saying indeed shall all, so it is the gospel that gave birth to the blessing stay with me in he shall all the nations be blessed. How did he preach the gospel to Abraham? One day God said to Abraham, come. Pick your son. Your only son. Because Abraham is not the father of Ishmael. Abraham is the father of Ishmael. Abraham is the father of Isaac. That transformation was important before proliferation. <sighs> You want proliferation. God is saying, I got to transform you first. Because if you go like this, you proliferate a mess. So God did the transformation. It's not change. Change is I can change my cloth. Transformation is as the caterpillar turns to butterfly. It does not have what it takes to return back to be caterpillar. That's transformation. I'm preaching good. Give, give me. Um, wait, wait. Keep, keep, before, I, before I ask you. So God said to Abraham, come. Bring your son, the one that you love. Your only son. Just in case you are confused. Isaac. That's how God is detailed. Because no Abraham getting whiz. And God said, I know this guy. Bring your son. Your only son. The one who you love. He said, this guy, if he wants, you see, you wise. Isaac. Come. Abraham took Isaac. Come here, come here, come here, come here son. Abraham took Isaac. And they were going. And as they were going, Isaac said, Baba, I see the wood. I see the knife. What did they play? Because <laughs> as they were going, the pressure was getting worse and worse. Say, <laughs> Father, I see the la- I see. Where is the lamb? Look at Abraham's reply. Abraham said, my son, God will provide himself. Not for himself. Oh, God. 
God will provide himself. It's not God will provide for himself. No. God will provide himself a lamb. And Isaac too believed. Isaac was a type and a shadow of Jesus because he was old enough to beat his father. Tie him up. I say, show you the wine me. Oh, 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 the wine me. He was old enough to do it. But he had to become a shadow of Jesus that will not struggle with the Father on the cross. For the Bible says none of his bones were broken. He laid down his life and did not wrestle with his Father. Because Abraham believed that God could raise up Isaac from the dead. And so they laid down Isaac later. Thank you, son. And then Abraham was going to take the knife to kill Isaac. And guess what? God said, Abraham! Hold it, dear. And Abraham looked. Give him my, give him my picture, my third picture. This is what Abraham saw. Oh, you don't get it. That is the lamb stuck on the cross. This, how did God preach the gospel to Abraham? This is how Abraham got the gospel. <laughs> Cost is he the hands on the tree. So when Abraham saw a lamb stuck in the ticket on the tree, Abraham got the message of the gospel. And believed. When Jesus had not come to die. That's it. So Abraham looked and saw a lamb. Like the lamb of God that will come. And will be stuck. On the tree. As a lamb caught. In the thicket. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked. And behold him. A ram caught in the thicket. By his horns. By his strength. He laid down his strength. There. For it was not the cross that held him down. Not the nails. It was his love that kept him on the cross from this picture take the scripture up let's have the picture Abraham got the gospel then God cried to Abraham Abraham stop it now I know that you love me because you have not withhold your son from me this cry of God Shei, is the cry of the believer today father now I know that you love me because you did not keep your son. Oh! oh! Now I know that you love me because you did not stop your son from dying on the cross for me. And if it was just me, you would have died anyways. If it was just me, you would have gone to the cross anyways. If it was just me, you would have bled and died anyways. I'm glad that you died for me. I'm glad that you died as me. And when you were buried, I was buried with you. And when you resurrected, I resurrected with you. Now I'm seated in Christ and now I'm blessed. No cause can hold me down for there is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus and the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our, and therefore now there is no condemnation and if any man be in Christ he is new creature and all the blessings of God are in Christ yes and amen not yes and maybe not yes and a little bit but yes and amen I don't know who you are this morning God sent me to tell you the blessing is on your life Oh my God, my God, my God, my God. The blessing is on your life. Look at you, you would have died, but the blessing. Look at you, you were raped as a child, but you're still here. Look at you, you were robbed, almost killed, but you're still here. Look at you, the accident would have taken your life, but you're still here. Look at you, you've joined court, did all manner of stupid things, but you are here today because the blessing is not just what you have. The blessing is what you survived. And I can prophesy to you that better is the end of your year than the beginning thereof. For the Bible says, the blessing of the Lord, it make it rich. The blessing of the Lord, it make it rich. 
riches don't make the blessing but the blessing makes riches i decree get ready i'm gonna say that you get tired of hearing me yes indeed it won't be long now god's decree everything is going to happen at once your head will swim one thing faster on the heels of the other yes indeed it won't be long now god's decree things are going to happen so fast your head will swim one thing fast on the heels of the other you won't be able to keep up just when you're doing your car dedication your house is ready just when you're doing the house you get the promotion just when you get the promotion there is another promotion just when the promotion comes, there is a better job offer just when you get this deal another deal is waiting for you I don't know whose word is this if this is not your word you can sit still or stand like a pillar of salt but if this is your word look for four people tell them I smell the blessing of God around your life come on come on come on come on come on find two people tell them you carry the blessing find two people tell them you carry the blessing shout it one more time you can die you carry the blessing one more time you can die you carry the blessing you cannot be assassinated you carry the blessing you cannot be ignored you carry the blessing if this is your word throw your hands up shall thank you jesus one more time shall thank you jesus you you sit we're just talking As you leave, go with it with the revelation that I carry blessing. I magnet my helpers. That's a word for somebody, not you. If your neighbor is shouting, it's them, not you. I magnet my helpers. I hear the kings are calling for you. I hear that the kings are calling for you. They're about to send for you. They've seen your work, they're sending for you. They were going to pick somebody else, but the blessing is calling. Hey, Usha, ta, 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 ta. Oh, oh, They're sending for you. They were going to select somebody else, but the blessing picked you out. Oh, yeah, I said they're going to select somebody else, but the blessing picked you out. God is causing your rod to board and to blossom. I don't know whose word is this. I want you to lift your hands and shout, the blessing is on me. Woman, the blessing is on me. The blessing is on me. The blessing. I'm too blessed to be cursed. Too blessed to be held down. Whipping men door for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I don't know who you are, dust says the Lord. Your days of weeping are over. Come into accelerated speed by the Spirit of God because the blessing of God is upon your life. And I love the fact that the blessing it makes rich and adds no sorrow. So God is not going to give you a car and take your child. God is not going to give you a job and take your joy. God is going to give you good measure, press down, shake it together, run it over. God will cause men to give to your bosom. I feel the anointing of the Lord checking and over my body right now. I tell you, the blessing of the Lord is in this room. The the blessing of the Lord is in this house. What you smell right now is the blessing. What you inhale in this room right now is the blessing. What you feel within you right now is the blessing. Look for four people, tell them the blessing is in me. You can steal my dream, but you can't execute my dreams. You can steal my idea, but you can't execute it. They can steal your dress pattern, but they can't give birth to it because it came from the blessing and they don't have the blessing. Blessing, blessing, fear the anointing of the Lord. The blessing, the blessing, the blessing, the blessing. And the Bible says his name is Isaac. Because the plan of the blessing is for you to be a blessing. Isaac dug a well. 
and they struggled with him. The first name of the well is called Essek. Essek means quarrel. Thus says the Lord, get out of the quarrel, get out of the strivings of men. You are too blessed to be there. That's a word for somebody. Essek. He dug a well and he caused quarrel. Get out of the quarrel of men. And he left it. Do you know why he could leave the well? He knew the blessing was on him, not on the well. So I can dig another well. Don't lose your mind over the man who left. You need your mind over the man who's coming. Just leave with your blessing. Don't be bitter, stay better. Take your blessing with you on your way out. Your loss, I'm living with my blessing. Because they should know that the hand of God is upon your life. And God is... He dug another well and the well is called what? Sitna. Sitna means enmity. So he went from quarrel to enmity. Some of you, the kind of attack you receive is a sign of the blessing of God upon your life. My mama said that the tree won't get fruit, neither they throw stone fruit. But you don't know how to discern the blessing. When you see the kind of attack coming, it's great compliment from the den of darkness that there is something about you. She told me all the time that when she gave birth to me, they almost killed her, almost killed me. I said, yeah, because there was something about me. Some of you are already asking, now only me, yes. Because now only you are kakom. Only you have that blessing. But he didn't stop there. He didn't let the quarrel stop him. He didn't let the enmity stop him. He went and dug the other well and became Rehoboth. God has made room. There's a word for somebody here. I don't know whose word is that. Get ready for your Rehoboth. I say God is making room for you. No, not you. It's your neighbor. I say God is making space for you. God is creating space for you. God is making room for you. If you believe, shout yes, somebody. Hey, God is about to make room for you. For I will go before you to make the crooked way straight. The rough path smooth, I will exalt the valleys and bring down the mountains. And the hand of the Lord will be seen upon your life. All flesh shall see because the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. I prophesy over your November and your December. Get ready, God makes room for you. Stop the echo. God makes room for you. I said, God makes room for you. Next time, go there. They are waiting for you. That's a word for somebody. They are waiting for you. Run back there. God has made room for you. Your testimony will be God has made. If this is your word, shout it and chamber. But that is not my message. My message is not God just making room for you as powerful as that is. Is that you are blessed to be a blessing. God help me. So Jacob finally gets to his Rehoboth. And Jacob died. Generations to come. John chapter 4. He must need go through Samaria. He must need go through Samaria. Next verse. Then cometh he to a city of Samaria, which is called Sika, near the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Next verse. Now Jacob's well was there. That well that Jacob dug became the platform for Jesus' message. Blessed to be a blessing. Posterity, no prosperity. So that same well that Jacob dug, now Jacob's well was there. Jesus therefore being wearied with his journey, sat 
Could it be possible that we are building the logic church? Add him not for us, but for Sakar's grandchildren. Because Rehoboth is making room for them. But we think Rehoboth is making room for us. Rehoboth is making room for them. Could it be possible that we need to build our nation, Nigeria? Not for us. But making room for them. So Jesus now takes that Jacob's well that there was a contention for. Because the reason that there's a contention for your life and your purpose is not normal. It's designed to make room for Jesus to sit on. Oh, I could preach from there. Oh, God. I, I don't, I'm out of time. I could preach. Jesus sits on the well. That is the well of life sitting on the well. So Jesus said to the woman, your, your people drank from this well. But I'm coming to... Now this well that you're drinking from, if you drink from it, you would thirst again. But I am. Be careful the well you go to drink from because you may not be well after you drink from that well. But when you come to the well called Christ... So he sat on the well of Rehoboth and became a platform to preach the gospel. You are blessed not for you to be a blessing. Everyone standing, I'm done. I hope with these few words of mine, I've been able to convince you and not confuse you that you're blessed to be a blessing. Look at me. What was God aiming at when he got my great grandfather who was an elder, my grandfather who was a bishop and then my father who was a reverend. He was looking for me. So all of that he did was to aim. There's an apostle coming. His name is Flourish. He's coming from this place. Let me call you first. That you can in him, put in him the ethos, the value, the virtues, the character, the build, the frame, the stick to the doggedness, the ashant greenness to do my work. Bad English, good preaching. But you just think about yourself. It's me, myself, and I. And God is saying, it's not about you. I've called you to be a blessing. But today I want to cause everything that has stopped your fruitfulness. I hear it in the spirit. Everyone lift your hands. Father, thank you. I cause everything that has made you barren. Thank you. One. Oh, yeah, that's it. Give me one. Yeah. I cause everything that has made you barren. Now. Oh, my God. Lift your hands and I want you to pray. I'm going to give you two minutes to pray. Oh, I'm doing well. It's 12.30. I'm doing well. We're done. I want, I'm going to give you two minutes. And the prayer point is, I am fruitful. I am a blessing. I am blessed to be a blessing. Can you pray that prayer? Lift your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it loud. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I am fruitful. I am blessed to be a blessing. I am fruitful. I am blessed to be a blessing in the name of Jesus. Today, I arise in faith. I challenge every power against my fruitfulness. Get out of the way. One more time. Get out of the way. In the name of Jesus. Now open up your mouth and pray for two minutes. I'm waiting for you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Shida Baba Batapakabahasis. I want you pray now. 
I am blessed. I am blessed to be a blessing. I am blessed to be a blessing. Oh, oh my God. Somebody the cost is broken now. Receive speed. Receive speed. Receive speed. I can hear you. Receive speed. Receive speed. You are blessed to be a blessing. Everywhere in the room are you praying? I'm blessed to be a blessing. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Everything that represents a serpent on your head, I move it out now by the finished work on the cross. In the name of Jesus, get out now. Are you praying strong? Are you praying strong? I said you are blessed to be a blessing. You are the blessed of the Lord. I said you are the blessed of the Lord. Come on, I said you are the blessed of the Lord. I am the blessed of the Lord. Nothing can stop you now. You're on your way up, up, up. Come on, spread your wings and fly. Be everything God has called you to be. No more delay, no more delay. Activate the blessing, the consciousness of the blessing of God upon your life. Activate the consciousness of the blessing. Shoot up. Ekopananda baretos. Zipra namando koposhe. Edebekoshi. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There's a lady behind the resistance you've been feeling is from ignorance now that the light of god has come i decree speed upon your life i can literally point you out from here i said i decree the speed of god take it in the name of jesus yeah that's it that's it bring that lady for me quickly quickly shoot up that's it I'm not coming down, not laying hands on anybody. Wherever you are, woman, lift your hands there. You, I'm talking to you. You, I'm talking to you. Behind, yeah, by the AC. Everything that speaks of delay, by the power of the Holy Ghost, it is here by broken in the name of Jesus. Take it. Everyone lift your hands. Everyone lift your hands. Concentrate on your own. Oh my God fruitfulness fruitfulness is your portion i hear i say fruitfulness is your portion Fruit, there are four brothers here get ready for the billion floor ahead it four of you four of you four of you four of you your hands there will be a sensation a candy paralysis when they blend it detus get a pair of paratis in and wherever you are take it in the name of jesus Let her go. Let her push. everywhere. Come on. Power of God. Kish. Kish. Put it on. Every missing document is found now. Every missing document is found now. Every case file is attended to. Every case file is attended to. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hey, hey, sha, ko ba 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 te si. Pera de vadis ko ponande ko. Shita pa pa lana me pera tis ko. Kito poroto pe pera na manti ko to. Kesi parati pera te penandi. Kwadi pe pera te pena katiso. Kete pera mende kato pora hasis. Kwata pera kete pini enda para. Sikro tu pena kete le katiso. Ete le kete bele kena marakata. Aprata manda pata. E 
Good. Good. Stand up, everyone. Put your hands on your head. Thank you, Jesus. Everyone stand in if you can, please. Put your hands on it. Except you inevitably can stand, it's fine. Father, thank you. Every head that has been marked for embarrassment, the blessing fixes it now. Aha. I heard it. Every head that has been marked for embarrassment by the power of the Holy Ghost. She pata. Take it now. Oka. Berotoski. Berenendrosti. Paratandi. Kuda berosti. Parenendoski. Shetetete. Letetete. Zopratane. Kenabota. Teladiata. Scupere. Peneniatasis. Wow. Wow. Shut up. 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 We declare that there is a release. Oh. Come here. He who lift your hands. Come, 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 bring it to me. You're free indeed. Lift your hands now. By the anointing of the Oh! Take it, my God. Shabade Koshi. Banindreta sopa. Lakapare no more fiatasis. Vindroto toke viatish. Greta Tetendi Kotoskish, Beritoski Venandas. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. In the name of. Open up your hands. Open up your hands everywhere. Father, thank you. Upon these hands, we release the multiplier's effect. You don't lose money from today. Money multiplies in your hands. Whatever ideas that you need, it is released right now. I said money multiplies in your hand. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. We release the spotlight of God to shine upon you. I release the spotlight of God to shine upon you. And everything that concerns you now, in the name of Jesus. Now, if you love God because he loved you first and you know you are going to be a blessing, I want you to clap your hands, church. If you can, then throw your heads up. Open up your mouth. Give him the prize. Church, I can't hear you. Shout to the Lord. We're not out of message, we're just out of time. And I'm very sure you were blessed by that word. Please follow us on all our social media platforms and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're watching and you have not accepted Jesus into your heart, I want to lead you to Christ. By a simple prayer, say, with my heart I believe and with my mouth I confess that Jesus is Lord. I accept you into my heart today. Flood my life with your light, with your life and your peace in Jesus' name. Satan, I am out of your claws. I am in Christ and Christ is in me. I decree and declare, I am saved. I confess with my mouth, Jesus is Lord. I believe in my heart that he died for me. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus, in Jesus' matchless name. Amen. Now that you are saved, please find any of our churches around the world to log in and keep fellowship and keep hearing the word of his grace. We encourage you to respond by way of giving the, the account details are on the screen. Please give and just respond to the word of his grace. Until I come your way again, it's your boy, Pastor Flores from The Logic Nation. Never forget, God loves you more than the devil hates you. Have a flourishing week ahead of you. In Jesus' name, with great grace. Bless it.